is going to be a short tutorial on how to add images and audio to your cards. So I have myself a pretty straightforward card here. So I have cat on the front and the Japanese for cat, which is Neko on the back. And this card is a bit boring though. So to spruce things up, I want to add an image. So one quick way to get an image uh, through Super Memo is that if you highlight or select some text and you do control F3, press OK, Super Memo will give us some uh, choices. So I have a couple of custom ones here, but these ones down are the default ones. So I'll have some choices of uh, things that I can search. So let's say that I search Google for images. Now, wow, there are lots and lots of cat images here. Let's look for, oh, this one's pretty cute. All right, let's, let's use this cat image here. So you can just do copy image. And you can see that there's no specific spot for the image to go, but if I just go to presentation mode, so I press escape a couple times, and then I do control V, it just adds it in automatically for us. Oops. Um, sometimes it'll ask you if you want to add in a component or um, if you want to apply an existing template. So you can just say yes and uh, let it do that for you. You don't really have to worry about the image screwing up too much. So one issue you can run into though, is that let's say that I'm in editing mode and I'm here and I do control V. Now it'll ask me if I want an image component. So normally I would say yes, but let's say I say no and I do okay. It'll add it into the uh, component, the text component itself. So usually it's better to avoid that. And just all you have to do is when you do control V, just say yes to create an image component or just uh, be in presentation mode. So press escape a few times and then just do it like here. All right, so now we have our very cute cat image. So next we want some audio. So to get some audio, I have a site that can help us out here. Gotta wait for it to load. That. All right, so I have lots of options here. So all these sentences um, have Neko in them and they also have audio. So, uchi ni Neko ga yiru. I like this sentence. So I just do save link as, and I'll just save it into downloads. It's great audio here. So now we're back here. And what you'll notice is that I already have some component here for sound, but let's say that you are you have a template and it doesn't have a sound component. Um, so what you can do is you can go at the very bottom here, you can go to compose, and we have options to add some components for various things, but the one we're looking for is create a sound component. So if you click on this, then uh, you can add a sound component. So I already have one, so I don't need this, I'll just delete it. But yeah, once you have a sound component um, and you've saved your template up properly with that sound component, uh, to add in the audio, what you can do is control Q and it will ask you for a sound file. Um, then I just click here and I do okay. So you can name it whatever you want. Personally, I don't think it matters very much what you name it, um, but it's up to you. So. And usually I say no to this because I want the audio file in my collection. I don't want it somewhere external. So I do no. So now it's going to have, it's added the sound file to my collection. And usually I just say yes, because I don't, I don't need the uh, sound file that's already in my collection anyways. And now I have the image and I have the audio. So you can't hear it, but I can play it and I can hear it. Um, some other thing you might want to consider is when you want this media to show. So if I want to see cat and then remember that it's Neko, then I might want this audio to play on answer, or you can also do, well, you should do play at, and I want it to play at only on answer. And that means that if we're doing a repetition, um, on this part, it won't play, but when I do show answer, then it'll play the audio. You can see that it's uh, going here. Um, and for the image, it's up to you if you want on the front or the back, but if you want it to be on the back, you can right click and then do answer. And that'll make it so that you only see it on the back side of your card. 